Here are four easy tricks that you can use to optimize your workflow in Premiere Pro. And stay tuned to the last one because it's going to blow your mind. The first trick I'll be showing you is how you can copy your color grade from any video clip or your favorite movie to your own project. And to do this, I'm going to import the two clips I'll be working with to my timeline. This is a clip I want to apply the color grade to. And this is a clip which is just a picture that I want to copy the color grade. What I'm going to do is that I'll move to the Lumetri color. And if you can't find it, go to the windows and then you will find it here. And make sure that you, the clip is selected. Then I'll move down to the comparison view. And you see the reference and the current. If I change my playhead and position it on top of the clip I want to copy it to, I'm going to move this here until I see the reference view. Now I'm just going to hit on apply match. And you see that Premiere Pro has tried its best to copy the color grade from this scene onto this one. You can adjust this to match up the taste by going to the basic correction. They change these values here, either the saturation or stuff like this. Even the exposure or the contrast so that it match up what you want to go with. The next trick I'll be showing you is how you can animate anything in 3D space. And we are going to be using an effect known as a basic 3D. So under the effects panel, you can search the basic 3D. Then double click on it with a clip selected to add it onto the clip. Then you move to effects control and you'll find the basic 3D here. So set the first keyframe for the swivel here. Move somewhere around here. And set in the second keyframe. I'm going to zoom in. Then for the second key, I'll set a value of 360. So I'll play this for you to see and you see how it will rotate in the 3D space. So I'll set this back to its default value and I'll animate the tilt property. I'll set in the first keyframe, move some few frames ahead and set in the second keyframe. And same thing, I'll set in the value of 360. The next trick is how you can add in captions to any video in Premiere Pro. To add in the caption, the first thing you need to do is to transcribe this audio clip. So go to the text panel here, click on transcribe sequence. So Premiere Pro is done doing this thing to transcribe the audio clip. And if you find anything that does not match up with what you're saying in the audio clip, you can double click on this to edit the transcript. Then, when you're done editing everything, you can click on this CC here, which is create captions. You allow all of these options to be as default. And when I usually create captions, I usually set this to its lowest value. Then, for these lines here, I used to click on single lines, which you can use double if you want, and increase the maximum duration in seconds and the gap between the frames. And these are the captions here that Premiere Pro has created. And I'll select these captions. Then move under the essential graphics or you can change your workspace to captions and graphics but while working with all panels you will find all of the panels that you need to work with and essential graphics is one of the panels clicking under here and then moving down to edit you will find all of the options that you can use to edit your captions the first being to change the font that you want you can increase the size to about 60. another option that you have here is to increase the tracking space that is the space between each characters so if i set this to 100 you see that the space in between each characters have been increased you can center the text on your on your screen here to the center by clicking this here and if you're not okay with the center position you can change these values here Say for example, you can set this to 300 and it will be set to this position. Next, you can change the color of the text, the stroke, you can add in a stroke, the background and a shadow. So I'm going to remove the shadow here, then I'll add in a background. I'll choose a color, let's say like red for example. And then I'll increase the pattern space, that is the space surrounding the text inside the background. And I'll set this to about 15. And you can increase the opacity of the background or reduce the opacity. You can control the radius of the background. So if I increase this amount here, the background will have some rounded edges. And if I put this to zero, it will have sharp edges. The next trick I'm going to show you is how you can add in clips that match up the beat of your audio automatically. So I have the audio clip here and I've already, I've already set in the markers corresponding to the high beat. You can position your playhead where you want to set in the marker and you press M. Make sure that the clip is not selected, else you set the marker on top of the clip, not on top of the sequence, which will have a little issue corresponding to what we want to do. You move the playhead, you set M, until you set all of the markers that you want. You can simply go to markers, then you say add chapter marker. But that's a long method, so I prefer you use the keyboard shortcut. It will really ease your workflow. 
bring back your playhead to the very start then you maybe you need to select the clip and then the folder that contains all of the clips that you want to match up the beat go to clip and move down to automate to sequence set in the ordering value to selection order the placement value to add unnumbered markers then you set in the method to override edit make sure that the still clip duration is set to use in and out range and you click on ok these are all of the clips which have been placed according to the marker so i'll play this for you to see and you'll see how it matches up with the high beat of the clip Hope you found this video useful and interesting to implement what you've learned in this video and leave your feedback in the comment section below and i'll be there to read your comments don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support the channel grow thanks for watching and until the next one keep editing